everyone, Uncle Jess here. Let's talk about how you go about leveling your build plate for your resin 3D printers and if there's a right way or a wrong way. And in fact, we're actually gonna be trying a brand new way that I'm almost positive you're not familiar with. And there's really just a handful of ways that you can go about leveling your build plate. And I like to think that I use the most common way. <laughs> Maybe it's to me, it's just the most straightforward way about going about leveling your build plate on pretty much any resin 3D printers. And the process usually starts with taking your build plate and making sure that the bolts on them are nice and loose and also that your build plate is clean of any materials or debris or anything like that before you go about attempting to level your build plate. You can then remove the vat if that's in place and attach your loosened build plate to the printer and secure it in place. And from here, you're typically gonna grab a piece of paper and begin the leveling process by going through the menu system and selecting the homing function to home the build plate down to its lowest position on the 3D printer against the piece of paper or cardstock that you're using to level that build plate against. And I know there's a lot of opinions of what kind of paper that you should be using. Is it just one sheet of paper, of typical writing paper? Is it three sheets of paper? Is it cardstock? I've used so many different varieties of pieces of paper and it doesn't really seem to matter that much on the machines that I typically work with. But for the most part, I've been using this manual for a string trimmer here and just the paper on that or I'll use the actual paper from the manual for the resin 3D printer. And while holding the build plate with one hand, you wanna use your other hand to tighten all of the bolts so it's nice and secured. And when I do my leveling, I like to make sure that the paper doesn't move at all. However, I know some folks like to move the bed up ever so slightly so that there's a slight drag on the paper. Again, I've tried both methods and I honestly don't think there's that much of a deviation between the two, depending on the printer that you're working with. You can then go into the menu system of the printer and change the set Z value to the positioning that your build plate is in currently. The set Z doesn't impact the homing of the 3D printer whatsoever. What it impacts is the actual starting position of your 3D print. And another alternative that some folks I know like to do is actually directly leveling the build plate with a tiny amount of resin inside the vat so that they can get a little bit more of a realistic squish, I guess. There's obviously, when you go about it that way, there's no way to paper check as well. So you're kind of just pressing down and tightening the build plate. So now that I have this printer fully leveled and ready for printing, let's talk about the newest way that I just found out about leveling your resin 3D printers. I honestly haven't tried it out yet to see if it's any better or any worse, but the benefit of it is it's supposed to help alleviate some of the elephant's foot if you're printing things flat on your build plates, which typically I'm not very often printing anything flat on my build plates. I typically have almost everything supported, but if you do have a magnetic flex plate attached to your resin 3D printer, it certainly aids in the ability for you to go off and print things flat on the build plate and more easily get them off. And in their blog post, they mentioned the reason why you're seeing the elephant's foot is typically with Chitu based resin 3D printers, the actual build plate will lower further than the end stop switch. And I believe I'm seeing that here on this 3D printer. So what they mentioned in the blog post is that you're gonna end up printing a file to actually level the bed. It's a cool idea. And I saw someone on Facebook dubbed it dummy print leveling. So that's what I'm going with here. It's, it's dummy print leveling. So I used my expertise in 3D modeling to create the ultimate printing dummy file free to run off and print with here <laughs> that you can basically load up in any of your slicers for your particular resin 3D printers and then run off and attempt this yourself. So I put the dummy print file on the flash drive here and loaded it into our resin 3D printer. The next thing I'm gonna do is again, you wanna make sure that everything is nicely cleaned off. You don't wanna have any resin residue inside of the vat or on the build plate because we're gonna be leveling this build plate directly inside the vat. We're gonna power on the machine and select our dummy print file to print and begin the printing process. Once this print job actually starts printing, it starts exposing that very first layer, you wanna pause the machine and turn off the printer. This is not only effectively gonna cancel your entire print job, but it should have also locked in the build plate positioning to the exact starting point of the very first layer of your 3D prints. And this is when you can hold down the build plate with one hand and start tightening the bolts with the other. And now your build plate should be perfectly leveled for that very first layer 
of your 3D prints. So let's actually test this out and see if this new method is actually better or worse or just the same as my typical way of using paper to level your build plate. And obviously to do that, we're gonna be testing these here on the Elegoo Mars 3, which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Elegoo is the makers of these beautiful Elegoo resin 3D printers that I also love printing with, the Elegoo Mars 3, the Saturn series of printers. The newest is the Saturn 2, which is an 8K resin 3D printer, as well as their huge big boy, the Elegoo Jupiter. And the Elegoo Mars 3 just so happens to be one of my absolute favorite resin 3D printers. It's the perfect combination of pricing, build volume, and print quality. Oh, and not to mention how fast this thing can print. If you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products that I'm showing off in today's video, you'll find links to those down below. And a big thank you again to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. And just like that, our prints have finished. This is a file from Flexi Factory. This is an articulating astronaut here printed in Elegoo's mint green resin. It took one hour and 28 minutes to print here on the Elegoo Mars 3 Pro. This was using my way of leveling the build plate here with just some paper. Uh, and then tightening everything down and then running off and printing everything. The print itself looks really good. We're gonna get it cleaned up here to get a better look at things and I can immediately see that there is in fact a little bit of an elephant's foot there. And if you're not familiar with that term, it means that the print is really squished against the build plate causing a little lip area or an elephant's foot. And then our other print on the Elegoo Mars 3 took one hour and 25 minutes. And at a quick glance, this print actually looks like it might be better than the other one because of how well it printed flat on the build plate without any sort of elephant's foot, or at least minimal compared to the other. Let's get both of these cleaned up and compare. Consider me very, very impressed because after getting these prints cleaned up, I can definitely see that the print with the new method of leveling, that dummy print leveling, my print easily looks better than the version that I typically just level with. Again, this is really specific to if you're planning on printing things flat on the build plate like this. And after really closely examining these, I can definitely see still a little bit of uh, squishing or an elephant's foot on the updated method, but it is nowhere near as much as what's occurring on the way that I have always done it up until now. So I honestly think that I'm gonna be looking at this new way of leveling my build plates from here on out. This is a fantastic new option when it comes to leveling your build plates, especially if you're looking at printing things flat, like this astronaut articulating figure here from Flexi Factory. And kudos to Jean for actually creating that blog posting and detailing how to resolve this. Again, I'm very impressed with the results that I'm seeing from this. So with the results that we were able to see here, would you consider changing the way that you level your build plates for your resin 3D printers? I know I'm now gonna be heavily considering swapping over to this way just to get better quality prints, especially again, if I'm looking to print things flat or directly on the build plate. I also wanna take a minute to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings, including my support settings, you'll find those over in my Patreon. But this was a really cool test that I'm very happy that I took the time to actually experiment with this. And I hope you at least try it out for yourself to see how it goes. But let me know in the comments if there's some other method of leveling your build plate that I didn't mention that you actually do. I'd be interested in checking that out as well. Hey, thanks again for watching you all. I'll see you next time. Bye now. All right, there's a reason why I saved this portion of the video to the very end where I try to remove the prints because I'm 99% sure I'm just gonna screw them up getting them off. This one here doesn't have a flex plate, so I'm gonna try and get this under there as best I, ooh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> it worked! Let's try the flex plate. Oh, that's coming right off. So much easier, so much easier.